hiding that. <laughs> we actually were going to get a souk up green bin and put all over it. And I'm not going to get it off. It's a little too windy. So, I'm going to... Why don't you guys... I don't know. Just watch. We'll see if we can get this thing unveiled. Well, you disappear, you know where we are. <laughs> Like I was. 
Why not? Uh, well, they said he was a one-hit wonder. He died in a plane crash with Buddy and Richie. This blog. Uh, <laughs> this makes the news or makes the blog. This, this is for you. Uh, my father produced and starred in the world's first known music videos. Uh, he did three music videos in 1958, and here in the next couple of weeks, they will be uh, released to um, a media through the um, uh, internet uh, here in the next couple of weeks. Um, so I guess you could say he was kind of the forerunner. I tell people that my father lived, you'd have had Bopper Vision 20 years before you had MTV. Uh, he, he had just done these in November of 58, and of course we lost him three months later, so he never had time to do it. He'd been a number one disc jockey uh, with two programs. Once as his, uh, as J.P. Richardson, and another one as a character of Big Bopper. And both of his programs were rated out at 100%. The only, the only ones in the area of Beaumont, uh, Southeast Texas, uh, to have that distinction. And he ended up getting on the air and doing a show for 122 hours and 8 minutes straight, which at the time was a world record. So he was also a pioneering disc jockey. Dad had three number one records as a writer. Um, maybe you've heard of George Jones. My father wrote White Lightning, which was George Jones' first number one record. Well, yes. Thank you, George. Uh, of course, we all know Johnny Preston. God rest his soul. Uh, Running Bear was not only a number one record for Johnny Preston, but was, uh, but was also a number one record for Sonny James in the same decade of the 60s, which I think is probably highly unusual. Uh, I haven't done a lot of research because I'm not good at that. <laughs> uh, and of course, Chantilly Lakes, who, um, yeah, Chantilly Um, like I say, Dad, Dad just spent a few hours of his life here at Clear Lake, Iowa, and to, to see what y'all have done is, is um, it's amazing. Um, I didn't know today, um, until today, that there were 8,000, only 8,000, I was thinking 20 or 30,000, but just tells you, you know, you don't need big numbers to, to do big things, and uh, y'all have done some wonderful things that are known around the world. And, um, Trust me, and trust my friend that reads those blogs. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'll, I'll shut up here in a second. Um, I just want to say thank you again. And I know if Dad were here today, he'd say, oh, clearly, you know what I like. <laughs>